Finally, the surface painting mod and extra landscaping tools are here. Let's play City Skylines. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Bomb Bomb Beast tutorial for Surface Painter Mod and Extra Landscaping Tools by Bloody Penguin for City Skylines. I'm Bomb Bomb Bee and of course you're very very welcome. First of all you're going to have to subscribe to the mods, simply done by entering the Steam Workshop. Searching for Surface Painter. Scroll down, select Surface Painter, scroll down again, click subscribe and then come over to Extra Landscaping Tools, click there, scroll down and subscribe. Once done, these will be automatically added to your game of City Skylines. Now let's load up a game and have a play. Welcome to Asset Build, a small town where the residents are subjected to the testing of new mods, whether they like it or not. Speaking of new mods, if you check out the toolbar, you'll now see that there are three new icons. The ground resources icon, water icon and surface tool. Also, if you click within landscaping, you'll find two new icons, bringing the in-game tool up to the standard of the Terraform mod from Rollo. You'll also see the ability to work with different brushes and different strengths and different sizes. For more information on how to use the Terraform mod, check out my Terraform mod tutorial. The link is in the description, which is still relevant today, despite having been made last summer. The land just outside of Assetville is fertile. Let's check that in the resources icon. Yes, green fertile land. But what say if in the foreground we wish to do some oil drilling? Well, right now, it would be a waste of time. Let's help Mother Nature along. Come down, click the resources icon. Select oil, the brush size we wish to use, the strength of the brush, and click, come back out of this menu, back to the resources menu, and look, we've got a great big patch of oil under here to be exploited. To undo, come back in and right click over the area, and that removes the previously done work. Next up, let's have a look at the water icon. Left click. There are two options. We have place water source and move sea level. Let's start with that one. Left click, move sea level. Now come to the map and then left click and drag to increase or decrease the level of the sea. We're going to leave it exactly where it is right now. The other option is place water source, left click on that. Now this is a little bit more tricky to use successfully. First of all, select the size of your water capacity, either larger or smaller. Find the location you wish to put it, how about on the side of this cliff, and left click. Now in a few moments the water will spawn and start pouring down into the sea. Beware not to put your water source directly above your town unless you wish to kill all of your residents. And finally on to the surface painter tool with brush sizes ranging from a single unit going all the way up to the size of one full purchasable tile. To delete, right click, and resize to something a little bit more suitable. Now 
There are four different options. We have concrete, gravel, ruins, and field. Once again, right click to delete. The strength meter doesn't appear to make any noticeable difference, so you can leave this at whatever level you prefer. The brush sizes are optional and can be used to different effects. So let's have a look at accuracy of painting. I've gone down to the single tile brush size and I'm working with pavement. Let's do a single click here. Now as you can see, I'm off centre near the edge at the bottom of the tile. Let's click again here. I'm off centre near the top of the tile. What about here? This time I'm not even within the tile that I'm placing. So how can you place with absolute certainty? First, let's select roads. You will know that the zonable areas are in tile format. This is a good guide for surface painting. As you can see, I've placed some rocks roughly in the centre of some of these tiles. Now let's go to surface paint to this area with the rocks as our guide. I've selected brush size single again and still working with pavement. Surface painter works especially well for drawing straight lines and accurately deleting. However, drawing diagonal lines, it tends to clip too. There, as you can see, there are approximately four tile places in surface paint for each tile on the map. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. I've been Bon Bon B, and you've been, as always, very, very welcome.